Hi, you're listening to Engagement Drivers, presented by Everyone Social. Each week, we'll share actionable tips, strategies, and success stories that you and your teams can use to steer your brand, social, and employee engagement in the right direction. Hey everyone, Todd here, Director of Marketing at Everyone Social. I want to bring you a special edition of our podcast here, a solo episode with myself, uh, talking about the pros and cons of LinkedIn company pages for employee advocacy. Uh, as you may know, LinkedIn Elevate was an advocacy solution which uh, announced last year they were shutting their program down, basically moving a lot of their features into company pages. Uh, which was really exciting at the time for many companies who were kind of considering moving into company pages or looking to do advocacy without spending any money. Uh, Elevate was pretty expensive at the time. So there was a lot of hype around this kind of conversation or things that were going on. And uh, last year, CEO Cameron Brain of Everyone Social and our Director of Implementation, Cameron Yates, did a conversation kind of about what this means, digesting the information that we had. Uh, the excitement got really intense pretty quickly for people, but when we started to wean through kind of the context of, of what was actually happening here, we quickly realized that, you know, this isn't exactly an advocacy solution, right? And company pages are great. Uh, everyone's on LinkedIn. People need to use the company pages as well as their personal profiles, but we noticed there was a lot of issues with potentially those who are just going to use it as an employee advocacy solution. So we wanted to go over the pros and cons of LinkedIn pages for employee advocacy. Uh, of course, there's some cool features that are definitely useful, uh, but we think if you want to really build an effective strategy or program, you're going to quickly find out that LinkedIn Pages is actually not the solution. And we've actually had a few demo requests recently come in with, with that exact thought, right? Um, one potential came in and said, hey, we were trying to use company pages for over a month now and our engagement just tanked. And it makes sense because these features aren't necessarily built to build a robust and play advocacy strategy and or solution. So let's just jump right in uh, and go through it. And if you're looking for more information around this, we did write a blog post about this, which, which does dive a little bit deeper. Uh, but I felt this would be really interesting to kind of have a conversation about and just connect with anybody who might be looking at LinkedIn pages for advocacy. So let's get into it. Uh, so the pros, of course, there are some pros of, of some of these features, and I think they're important to call out. Uh, one of the cool pros of LinkedIn company pages for employee advocacy is the ability to notify your employees about specific content. So one of the first features that they actually rolled out was when you post something on your LinkedIn company page, you can easily just click and notify everyone who is associated with your company. So it gives them a notification that you guys have posted something that they should engage, comment, and or reshare. So that's a pretty cool feature. We occasionally have used that at Everyone Social, but um, we find that using a program, of course, is much better than, than this feature, but you can give it a shot, see how it works. The other cool feature is the trending posts from employees. So when you, if you're an admin of your company page, you can actually see trending posts from your employees. So things that they're sharing and creating, you can actually reshare or engage with too. So it's kind of cool to see these things and kind of put them into your own kind of uh, feed, uh, which is really nice. The other thing to think about too with LinkedIn company pages is leaderboards and gamification don't exist in company pages anymore. And you know, gamification is a great way to drive engagement, create fun challenges, keep employees coming back, and driving rewards and recognition for their work. While we always say, you know, you don't want to just necessarily lead with gamification because sometimes that can lead to inauthentic results, right? People are just trying to game the system to get to the top of the leaderboard. It's still a really important function and feature of employee advocacy, and it works. We have many customers who have created really cool campaigns around their leaderboards and gamification strategy. The other thing is you're going to have limited reporting of external shares and engagement on LinkedIn company pages. So as you know, you can get some analytics from your LinkedIn company page, of course, things kind of like content level, like clicks, likes, shares, and follower accounts. The issue is when your employees are sharing, you won't have much data around where the clicks, the clicks are coming from or the conversions that might appear from their content. So with employee advocacy software, you have a really easy way to integrate your UTMs or CIDs or anything else that you're using for, for tracking capabilities. All this data can easily be passed through to any analytics software that you're using. Think Google Analytics or Adobe Analytics, any other kind of software like that. You know, with Everyone Social, for example, you're going to get reporting features. What are the most popular posts? Which posts have the most shares? which shares are generating the most clicks, which users are sharing the most, which shares are generating the most engagements. And then you have to think about the internal analytics too, right? Like, so how many users are activated? How, the number of groups, content groups that exist, 
the total posts that are being created, the number of comments and messages that are happening, and other internal interactions. So you can see there's a lot of different cons with company pages and you know it might be still worth trying. And that's what we're gonna get to in here next is kind of like who might LinkedIn pages for employee advocacy be good for? Now, you know, as you notice, there's probably, we've talked about a little bit more cons than pros. And does that mean LinkedIn pages for employee advocacy is not for you or your organization? I think it depends on what you're looking to accomplish and how important you see a social program within your company. I would say it's still important to use those features anyway, even if you're not using it for employee advocacy, it can still help drive engagement, still help build your page, which is always important. Uh, but here's where we think, you know, sticking with company pages for advocacy might make sense. If you're a really small company, let's say you're less than 25 employees or so, this could be a great way to kind of start getting them active on social, getting them aware of your, your content without really spending a dime. And we're really excited because we have something really great coming out for smaller companies or companies who are looking to get started for a lot less. So stay tuned for that. By the time you might hear this episode, you might already be aware of it, but we're excited about it. This can be a great way to test it out. Um, the thing to remember is because there's so many different features that are lagging in company pages for an advocacy, it's not the perfect comparison. So if it doesn't work, it's not to say that your employee advocacy program would fail. But this is a good way to start kind of testing, getting yourself familiar with, with what a strategy and what advocacy really does. Uh, if you're just looking for the maximize your company page overall, even if employee advocacy is not something you feel your company is ready for yet, I think just taking advantage of all these features really gives your brand a boost and can help grow your LinkedIn company page. So regardless, kind of like I mentioned, I think it is worth testing out these, these capabilities and these features anyway. And then the last one is, you know, maybe you do want to utilize a platform like Everyone Social, but you know your organization just isn't quite ready yet. You know, if you don't have things like a nice, robust content strategy, your work culture might be a little bit weak or need some improvement. Uh, you don't have someone to help really manage your engagement, your program here. Um, it can struggle to kind of catch traction with employees. And starting with LinkedIn pages might be a better way to kind of start getting some interest, get some things activated while you work on building that strategy. So hopefully this is really helpful. Um, you know, there's a lot of information to digest here. Like I said, I would highly recommend going to our blog and checking out the blog post, which dives a little bit deeper into this. Uh, you can go to our blog, everyonesocial.com slash blog. It's one of the top featured uh, articles. If it's not there, you can just search for LinkedIn company pages in the search. Or if you want to be adventurous and type in the URL, it's everyonesocial.com slash blog slash LinkedIn dash company dash pages. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. I hope this was super helpful. If you have any questions about employee advocacy or looking for a solution, you can reach out to our team at any time. We're always open to having discussions and sharing all the cool stuff that we're learning today. Thanks, everyone. See you until next time. Thanks for listening. We'll be back next week with more engagement insights. Want to know how Everyone Social can provide you with the tools needed to keep everyone at your company connected, informed, creating, and sharing? Visit everyonesocial.com to learn more.